Welcome to the 2020 Excellence in Education Awards Celebration. I'm Tim Heyer, Tulare County Superintendent of Schools, and I'm delighted that you've chosen to join me in honoring the careers of 26 extraordinary Tulare County educators selected by their school districts to be recognized through this prestigious awards program. A year ago, we were hosting the Excellence in Education Awards celebration in traditional fashion with breakfast and the fellowship of our family and friends. This year certainly looks a little different, but the importance of honoring these deserving educators has not changed. This video is tribute to the nominees, finalists, and winners in each of the three categories. School Employee of the Year, Teacher of the Year, and Administrator Manager of the Year. Given the challenges Tulare County educators have faced in the past eight months, it's more important than ever to celebrate the service, creativity, and perseverance of this year's honorees. This year marks our 26th Excellence in Education celebration. Since 1995, we have been blessed to have Educational Employees Credit Union as our partner. Their generosity and support has been foundational to the continued success of this recognition program and this video would not be complete without hearing from EECU President and CEO, Elizabeth Dooley. Hi, I'm Beth Dooley, President and CEO of Educational Employees Credit Union. We're proud to sponsor the Tulare County Excellence in Education Awards Program, which honors outstanding teachers, administrators, and school employees here in Tulare County. I'd like to thank Superintendent Tim Heyer and his staff for the considerable effort that they've put in to transforming this event into a virtual awards ceremony that is just as special and meaningful as the traditional in-person event. During these last few months, we've all been through a great deal, learning how to do some new things like wearing masks and social distancing, doing other things in a new way, like working remotely and celebrating family events on Zoom, and doing without other things like how long can we really go without a haircut? But through it all, we've learned a lot, including how resilient we all really are. So although the pandemic has physically separated us, we've learned how to use technology to bring us all back together again. And while we're not in the same room this evening, we are able to join together virtually to celebrate excellence in education. As the parent of a child in school, I see the efforts that teachers, administrators, and school employees are making to ensure that children have access to the learning resources that they need and that they're receiving a quality education, even if they're not in the classroom. None of us have been through anything like this before, so there really is no playbook for reference. And yet, at every level in the education system, people are adapting and finding new ways to support, engage, and teach our youth. Those who work in the field of education really do go above and beyond to ensure that their students are able to succeed. They're committed to providing their students with a quality education and the best school experience possible. So on behalf of everyone here at EECU, I'd like to extend my sincere thanks and appreciation to all of the honorees for the great work that they're doing in these very challenging times. Congratulations to all of the nominees, finalists, and winners on this well-deserved recognition for your commitment to your students and your profession. Thank you, and please enjoy this virtual experience. Each spring, my office invites Tulare County School Districts, the College of the Sequoias, and Porterville College to submit nominations in each of three categories. A group of committed business and educational leaders from throughout Tulare County read each nomination and score them independently. Our office then compiles the scores and identifies the two finalists and one winner in each category. It's time to meet our nominees. In the category of School Employee of the Year, Mike Carrion has served as the bus driver and groundsman for four years at Munson Sultana Joint Union School District. His contagious enthusiasm and positive attitude is shared with students and staff alike. Mike greets every student and calls them by name, just to let them know they are loved. He has become a friend, mentor, and parental figure, even offering to take a homeless student into his home if needed. Mike says, 
I am thankful that I am given the opportunity and capacity to change the way their day starts and ends. For the past six years, Samuel Chavez has had the unique position as the only district office custodian for the Visalia Unified School District. Sam's mantra, at your service, is demonstrated through his grace under pressure when he accommodates requests for services and makes arrangements for numerous meetings and events. Years ago, Sam's interaction with a COS student convinced them to not quit school and pursue becoming a teacher. In reconnecting with this teacher, Sam says, the best reward I can imagine is knowing that I've changed a person's life in a positive way and that this person's life now makes a positive impact for the greater good. Brandy Nicole McCall has worked as a nutrition support service technician for the past year at Lindsay Unified School District. As a part of her daily duties, Brandy provides food throughout the district that is both excellent in presentation and taste. She also works closely with medical staff to ensure that high quality meal alternatives are provided for students with allergies and medical conditions. During her more than 10 years with nutritional services, she has supported local outreach events like the Lindsay Health Fair, where she encouraged participants to ride the smoothie bike. Alondra Mejia has been a health aide for the last three years at Pixie Elementary School. Her infectious smile, patience, and support ensures improvement for all who visit her. Alondra's advocacy for health, combined with her acknowledgement of the social-emotional needs of others, draws in students, families, and staff. With her flexibility and strong communication skills, she adapts effortlessly to changing routines while keeping staff and parents informed. Alondra says, I've come to realize that we are set on a path to make an impact in a child's life. Michelle Rivera has served as the ASB accounting technician for 16 years at Dinuba High School. Because of her sunny disposition, she has successfully assisted coaches and advisors through multiple changes in the accounting system, keeping the club and athletics operational funds accurate and accessible. Michelle's caring personality influences not just students and families, but the community. Her personal code of ethics transforms students' lives by teaching them to be prepared to make treasured purchases such as their yearbook and tickets to the prom and grad night. In the category of Teacher of the Year, George Bjarke is now enjoying retirement after teaching 7th and 8th grade math at Wilson Middle School in Exeter for 15 years. George had an easy rapport with his students that enhances engagement and learning. His philosophy is it's about life and leadership and making an impact on the lives of students. They'll be running this world someday and I want to have done something to spur them on toward love and good deeds. Jennifer Denham has served as an instructional coach for the past five years at Sycamore Valley Academy. Jennifer is a huge advocate for all students and has tirelessly worked as an educator to provide each and every student the best possible educational opportunities. Being a speaker of multiple languages herself, she has a particular love for and interest in supporting other language learners. Jennifer has been a lead for project-based learning and was one of the teachers who was most involved in creating PBL lessons. Her nominator said, Jennifer is quite literally one of the core pieces that holds us together and makes us thrive. Steve Festerman has been a 7th grade science teacher for 24 years at El Monte Middle School in Arosi. He has spent his entire career serving the Cutler Arosi community and understands the barriers the district students face. He often uses his cultural awareness as a teaching point. Steve also serves as the school's varsity baseball coach, molding players into young men who will make a difference in society. Steve feels, quote, the greatest reward is seeing my students succeed and grow into young adults who will contribute positively to their world. Maria Hernandez has served Woodville Elementary School for the past 15 years as a fifth grade teacher. She demonstrates integrity, honesty, and confidentiality in all matters. She is held in high regard amongst her peers and uses her leadership role as an opportunity to make a positive impact for students and staff. Maria gives selflessly to her school, teaching her students that they are loved, how to resolve conflict with each other, and how to model good communication skills with their peers and parents. 
Kate Jost has been a fourth grade teacher at Munson Sultana Joint Union School for 13 years. She creates more than a community in her classroom. She creates a family. Students know they are safe, free to ask questions and explore learning deeply in their own way. Kate makes every effort to reach out to parents to share the positive improvements their child is making in her class and provides compliments when students reach learning milestones. Socorro Lozano has served the Farmersville Unified School District for 23 years as a fourth grade teacher. During her tenure, Socorro displayed a great amount of dedication and eagerness to help all students, particularly English language learners. As an English learner herself, she truly enjoyed working with young children and watching them bloom into productive young people with a purpose. Her enthusiasm for teaching is endless as evidenced by her additional work for the Migrant Education Program and classes taught at the Farmersville Adult School. Judy Rose has been the band and performing arts teacher for Sundale Union School for 30 years. She has consistently been successful in including special needs students and students with behavioral issues in the annual theater production, color guard, choir, and school bands. As a result, numerous students have found a place to belong and have developed self-esteem that positively impacted classroom and assessment performance. Because of her leadership as a performing arts educator, Sundale students can't wait to participate in the wide variety of programs she has developed. Donna Schofield has been a fourth grade teacher for seven years at Lincoln Elementary School in the Dinuba Unified School District. Donna makes decisions in the best interest of students based not only on her obvious desire to see them succeed personally and academically, but based on her expectation that they can and they will. Donna says the students can't redo the one school year in my classroom, so I need to do everything that I can do to educate, challenge, and empower them. Nancy Wills has been a learning facilitator at Lindsay High School for 21 years. She is also the chair for the Visual and Performing Arts Department. Many of her students begin the program with no musical experience. Through her impactful instruction, guidance, and inspiration, they lead the program as accomplished musicians. Through teamwork, continuous improvement, courage, accountability, and public performance opportunities, Nancy inspires them to excellence. Many of her students are English learners, so she uses music to bridge the language divide. She also teaches dual enrollment courses each semester for College of the Sequoias, including music appreciation and music history. In the category of Administrator Manager of the Year, Willie Austin is a custodial supervisor at Dinuba Unified School District. In his two years with the district, he has proven to be highly dependable and competent while lending unfailing support to his staff. Willie's big smile warmly precedes a firm handshake when he's introduced to others. It's immediately apparent that he is on a mission to serve the needs of all staff and students. Daily, Willie leads a team that believes the quality of the facilities directly affects health, behavior, engagement, learning, and growth in student achievement. For five years, Sandra Gonzalez Ochoa has been an assistant principal for Ivanhoe Elementary in the Visalia Unified School District. Sandra understands the value of leading staff into deeper learning opportunities. She has effectively facilitated and developed a focus on a safe, efficient, and effective learning environment. Sandra says, I consider Ivanhoe Elementary School my second home. I share with others that I have 650 kids that I guide, counsel, and love. Students, staff members, and parents have come to trust her opinions, value her judgment, and respect her authority. Loretta Myers is the Transportation Supervisor at Exeter Unified School District. In her 14 years with the district, Loretta has demonstrated honesty, loyalty, and the ability to solve problems on short notice. Loretta will be the first to volunteer herself when help is needed. She leads by example and is not afraid to get her hands dirty. Loretta has transformed the transportation department to a model of efficiency. She has also taken it upon herself to search out grants that could benefit the department and the school district. With these grants, she has offset the cost of four new electric buses by a combined $400,000 for each bus 
leaving the cost to the district of only $36,000 per bus. The finalists for School Employee of the Year. Stephen Boswell is a bus driver and lead groundskeeper with Tulare City School District. For the past 14 years, he has been a model employee, making sure his riders feel comfortable and safe, particularly his youngest passengers. He knows each student by name and their families as well. Stephen has been known to arrive at his site early to greet his students, sit down and read to them, or have one-on-one -on -one conversations. He treats his riders as if they were his own children, and sees to it that the first and last thing they experience each day is a smile, a high five, or an encouraging word. Erica Galindo has been an instructional aide at Blue Oak Academy in Visalia for two years. Teachers constantly communicate about her tremendous support for them and their students. She consistently reaches out to her colleagues to seek their input regarding eliminating barriers to student learning. Using her background in social work, she regularly inquires about student successes and ongoing challenges. On her own, she seeks out strategies and activities that assist students with behavioral, social, emotional, or academic needs. The finalist for Teacher of the Year. John Kuhn has been an agriculture teacher at Redwood High School in the Visalia Unified School District for 20 years. He truly loves all things related to agriculture and instills this love in his students. John is a man of integrity and leads by example. His fellow staff members respect and love him because of the person he is. He lives by the golden rule and is well respected by not only those at Redwood High School, but by many others in the Visalia Unified School District. John exemplifies what it means to be an educator and leader. His colleagues say he is genuinely one of the most gifted and gracious human beings. Eric York has been a science teacher at Tulare Union High School for eight years. He is continuously looking for ways to implement STEM principles in his classroom. He makes learning fun by providing students with hands-on, real-world learning opportunities that are both challenging and relevant. Eric routinely provides the necessary interventions and resources for his students to be successful, such as tutoring on his own time during breaks, lunch, and after school. Eric says, when I reflect on my years of teaching and consider what has truly brought joy to me, it is the passion and joy in my students. The finalist for Administrator Manager of the Year. Sherry Doria has been at Lindsay Preschool for 20 years and currently serves as the Director of Preschools. She has always demonstrated an unrelenting conviction to model the core values of the organization. Sherry is an educator of the highest moral caliber. Some of the most influential work that Mrs. Doria has engaged in is the writing of the State Preschool Grant in which Lindsay Unified was awarded expansion funds in excess of $800,000 this year. I believe my role as a leader is to empower, inspire, and motivate all learners to be their very best and be lifelong learners, Sherry says. Jose Luis Perez, currently an assistant principal at Arosi High School. He is a natural mentor to students. Many seek him out because of his calming demeanor and his ability to de-escalate situations. Jose is an example of a dedicated and hardworking educator who always fosters the learning and professional growth of all individuals. He is an articulate communicator who has a deep passion for all students to succeed. He understands the importance of differentiated curriculum and is sensitive to the needs of diverse learners. Mr. Perez's dedication to his students and parents is unparalleled as he works late nights and on weekends ensuring all programs are effectively implemented. And now to our winners. In the category of School Employee of the Year, our winner is Micaela Macareno, Administrative Assistant to the Superintendent of the cutler Arosi Joint Unified School District. Superwoman is the term Superintendent Yolanda Valdez used to sum up the qualities of Micaela. She is the mother of four children, a wife, folkloric dance instructor, CEO of her own nonprofit organization, community activist, and champion for children. Mrs. Valdez as Micaela is described as a problem solver with unique forward-thinking qualities while maintaining a level head 
under the immense pressure of her leadership role. In addition to her duties supporting the superintendent and school board of trustees, Mikaela has become the district's marketeer, creating graphics and promotional materials for events and services. School sites, nonprofits, and community members often seek her expertise to market their events. Additionally, she recently implemented a district newsletter that serves to promote all the events and accomplishments of students, staff, and schools in the district. Micaela also assisted Superintendent Valdez in developing a women's conference for mothers and daughters, which attracted 750 attendees. Her leadership impacts other district events, including the Noche de Oro fundraiser for work-based learning programs, health fairs, theater productions, and bond campaigns. Although she is not a resident of the Cutler-Rossi area, she believes in the district's educational mission and vision so much that she transferred her four children to the district and has been involved as a parent volunteer. When she is not working or volunteering in the district, Micaela is an instructor and director of Ballet Folklorico de Lago, a youth Mexican cultural dance program, and is the co-founder of the Gemma Foundation, a nonprofit organization that supports the cultural enrichment of youth in the Central Valley through philanthropy, community events, education, literacy, and recreation. Let's hear from Micaela in her own words. My career in education started several years ago. I started as the administrative assistant to the superintendent of the Cutler Rossi School District. My role is to support the superintendent and our board of trustees, as well as just the entire district as a whole. Whenever my support is needed, I try to be there in an effort to try to help our students and community. Having Micaela as my administrative assistant is like winning the lottery because I, I've worked with with many and I've had some really good ones, but with no doubt, Micaela Macareno has been the top administrative assistant I've worked with. As a child, I grew up in a farm working family. My parents didn't get to high school because they didn't have that education. I saw how important it was. I saw that it would open up a lot of opportunities for me and, and just I decided that, you know, being involved in education, I can help my kids by being more active and, and just trying to be more supportive with them and their education because I, I did realize just in time that growing up how important education was. I, I think everybody really trusts her and really knows she's only after the good of our district or the betterment of our district. And so I think I would say that 100% of all my administrators, support staff really trust her and know that, that she cares for them and their success. The most rewarding part of my job is just to be able to support our community and, and the families and, and the students. I see parents that come in with their children and I am reminded of my own childhood. I grew up similar to the children that we serve. So I think it's really rewarding to be able to give back and offer you know, support in, in any way that I can to them. Even though it's kind of behind the scenes, I know that in a way I'm, I'm helping provide a positive experience and, and positively impact the kids and, and the parents and the families in our community. I mean, she makes me look good. That's just the bottom line. She really makes me look good and helps me with communication with all of my seven bosses and all of my administrators. And, and she's just, like I said, you know, she's that, that second person that makes me whole. So I thank her very much for all that she does for me because she does a lot. No matter what the role is, from my superintendent to um, a, you know, a teacher, a custodian, or myself, I think that though we're not in the classroom, it's really important that we value what we do regardless of the role because it's going to impact a child in our community. I want to thank the Tulare County Office of Education and the Educational Employees Credit Union for acknowledging outstanding educators. I am humbled and honored to be amongst those nominated to be recognized for their contribution and education in Tulare County. I want to thank Dr. Carolyn Curley, former superintendent of Cutler Rossi Joint Unified School District, for believing in me 12 years ago and giving me the opportunity to serve the district as the superintendent secretary. 
Through the years, I have been able to grow so much personally and professionally. It has been a blessing for me and my family to be able to be a part of the team. I want to thank Superintendent Yolanda Valdez and those involved in my nomination. Working under her leadership has been an honor and a privilege. I value and appreciate all that she's done for me as a member of the team. I have learned so much from her and hope to continue to learn from her leadership. I admire all that she's done and continues to do for the Cutler Rossi Unified School District and the community. I also want to thank the COJ USD family for being a great team and being so supportive and um, easy to work with. I'd like to thank my family, most importantly, for being my motivation to work hard and for being there to support me through uh, the many community events or district events and just working um, alongside me in anything that I do and, and for being that support for me. Thank you. Stacy Trapletti, a seventh grade mathematics teacher from Cherry Avenue Middle School in the Tulare City School District, is the 2020 Tulare County Teacher of the Year. In addition to her responsibilities as a math teacher, Stacy served as a social and academic events coordinator, student council advisor, fundraiser chair, athletic coach, and all around bundle of energy. She was praised by her nominators as the hardest working member of the staff at Cherry Avenue Middle School. Stacy not only puts in endless hours to see her students succeed in the classroom, she also works countless hours outside the classroom on campus and community projects. This 35 year veteran of the classroom incorporates hands-on activities, cooperative learning, games, competitions, and songs and rhymes to teach math concepts. Students of all learning levels feel welcomed and valued in her classroom. Stacy says, bringing the real world into what I teach has helped my students realize why they are learning the skills and standards that they are being exposed to. Stacy adds, from balancing their own checkbooks, building a city, purchasing stocks, or understanding math facts by playing fantasy football, I love it when I am able to help struggling students believe in themselves just a little bit more. The smiles on their faces or saying, I get it, are my bonuses. Now retired, Stacy served as a district mentor teacher as well as a master teacher over the years, always prepared to walk next door to help a colleague. She has also served as Cherry Avenue's math Super Bowl coach, student council advisor, coordinator of numerous social and fundraising events, as well as a leader in the school garden and other campus beautification projects. Most recently, she and her students have been involved in creating a mosaic of the school's mascot in front of the school, learning about math throughout the process. Stacy had this to say about her career in education. I began teaching at Tulare City School in 1989. Um, at Cherry Avenue. I started there my career and I finished my career there and it's been nothing but a joy. As a student, I struggled. It wasn't something that always came easy to me. I loved school and I wanted to succeed, but I needed to find other ways to make things make sense to me. And so I've done that same thing for my students is I've tried to make a point to find out where their strengths and weaknesses are because I thought back to what school was like for me and I wanted to make it a safe place for them, and I wanted them to know that they could be successful even after making mistakes. This woman has so much energy, so much dedication to these students, and I was just so impressed. But I was so lucky to come back last year and work with Stacy again as, as a principal of the building and her final year before retirement. This teacher, this person, truly goes above and beyond for all her students. Early in the morning, extra hours, just so impressed by her. I was there because I wanted to be, not because I had to be. It wasn't just a job. It was something I was very passionate about. I cared about not only my students, but colleagues. My goal was to make them feel comfortable 
and relax and that we can just each continue to encourage and support one another. She's literally touched the lives of every staff member on our campus. Teachers both old and new that sit back and watch her and watch her work ethic and I think that's what it comes down to is she has a tremendous work ethic and it just makes those of us around her better. The time and energy that she just continuously puts into giving up lunch hours after school, before school. Then you go to the academic part, you know, just, yeah, every kid that goes in there, she raises their test scores. So I would consider Stacy Trappoletti the total package. I'm just a crazy old lady who just loves to get my students to realize that there are ways that they can learn that aren't always just read it, write it, and learn it. Once a bulldog, always a bulldog. And that to me describes Stacy is, is just how much she loved being a Cherry Avenue Bulldog teacher and then everything that she's shared over the years with all of our students. I love what I do and it's gonna be hard now that I've retired to not be that person. And once a Bulldog, always a Bulldog. And so that's something I've always lived with and will continue. And now in retirement, I say to myself, once a teacher, always a teacher. I am humbled by this honor. I am so proud that I have been privileged to spend the past 35 years teaching young people and sharing their lives. For me, being a teacher is not something you do, but it becomes who you are. It's joyful, challenging, and rewarding all at the same time, and I've loved every minute of it. I can't imagine myself doing anything else. We all know that education is a gateway to a bright and successful future. I viewed every day that I walked into the classroom as an opportunity to change lives for the better. What I never expected when I stepped into the classroom all those years ago was the impact my students would have on me. I shared their successes, been there through their struggles, laughed with them, and cried with them. These 35 years have been the most rewarding imaginable. Being an experienced teacher is special. My former students have careers and families and I've taught many of their children. It's such a joy when I get an email letting me know that they were thinking of me, or when I see a student from years ago run up and give me a big hug. The rewards just keep coming. I'd like to thank Superintendent Tim Heyer, the committee from TCOE for selecting me for this honor. While I was fortunate enough to have great leadership and support at Cherry Avenue, I especially appreciate Debbie Portillo for nominating me for and believing in me. The support given by Tulare City School District and Superintendent Brian Hollingshead, who I also consider a friend, is something I will cherish forever. It is a great place to work. I have been fortunate to have worked with an amazing staff at Cherry Avenue. We challenged each other to be the best possible for our students. Together we created an environment where our students thrived and wanted to be. I would like to especially thank Shannon Harrow and Mike Roberts for the extra time spent writing letters on my behalf. I would like to thank my family for their love and support. It was their support that allowed me to live my dream and accomplish so many things in my career. And finally, and most importantly, I am thankful for my students. I appreciate that they trusted me to help them grow. Together we made an amazing team and I will continue to expect great things from them. Thank you. And finally, our Administrator Manager of the Year, Philip Piercebacher, Assistant Superintendent of Personnel at Tulare City School District. Leaders are servants, Philip says, and in order to get the best out of each member of the team to benefit our students, leaders must be relational, consider others' strengths and weaknesses, and set the example. It's not an easy task, but I have found that motivation and productivity increase tenfold when those on the team trust their leader and see themselves as valued. Words such as honesty, integrity, and respectfulness describe Philip. Nominators credited him for being able to listen, guide, and value others' opinions and to build confidence in his peers. As a 30-year veteran of the Tulare City School District, Philip has served as a teacher, vice principal, principal, and district office administrator. Currently, he serves as the Assistant Superintendent of Personnel, ensuring the success of Tulare's students by recruiting the best teachers possible. Philip can be heard often saying, we look for only the best for our students. 
Throughout the school year, he spends time assisting in the classroom so as not to lose touch with what it's like to be a teacher. He also oversees the district's transportation and grounds keeping departments, making sure the students are safe and that their learning environments are well maintained. Philip is also involved in the community, volunteering through his church, service clubs, and leadership to Larry. He maintains excellent relationships with the Larry City Teachers Association and the California School Employees Association. Nominators say that he gets involved, asks questions, and develops important relationships in these capacities because he truly cares about the community in which he serves. Let's now enjoy what Philip had to share about his recognition. So I started in fifth grade at Maple School, absolutely loved teaching. And I had a great administrator and knew the, the value of a principal and what a principal could do, so decided to go into administration. And so that was just a blessing to be able to, over time, become a vice principal, a principal, which was one of my absolute favorite positions, and then now into district administration. And so I love personnel and just seeing the big picture and the, the puzzle from that view. He's just such an asset in so many ways. To us principals, he's always there willing to help. He comes in, he's just with us. He's right beside me, right behind me, pushing me, you can do this, or right in front of me saying, come on, you got this. He's just outstanding. If you ask anybody, they'll say, I wanna be like Philip. It didn't take long before I realized that I absolutely love education. When I did my student teaching, I learned from others and I followed their example. And you learn and you grow and you start trying things on your own. But m my very first year with my very own class, when I'm by myself and it's all on me, when you start hearing the comments of, of students that, oh, this is easy, I got this, and you see that they have it, they've learned it, that just basically gives you chills. And it motivates you to do more because you want them to experience that in all those areas. But as I looked around the classroom and things are going well, and kids are learning, it really made an impression on me that I've made the right choice, this is where I belong. The community knows who he is, they know he's a man of integrity. For him, I think he just holds himself to that higher standard. Integrity is just who he is, in and out of his job. He's just made me want to be a better administrator, just by being who he is on a daily basis. I've had the privilege of having so many great honors throughout my career, and throughout my lifetime as well. But the one honor that has takes first place in both my personal life and my professional life is just to be able to work with children. I get up in the morning, I can't wait to get to work. It takes me about five minutes to get to work and sometimes that's too long. To be able to have a career where from when I started to when I finished, to be able to work with children and help ch children learn and grow is an absolute honor greater than than anything else I can think of. It's just been a tremendous blessing. Let me begin with a sincere thank you to both TCOE and EECU for their roles in Excellence in Education Awards. I am truly humbled and honored to receive this award. Most people believe the decisions they make throughout their career are what leads to this type of award. For me, this is only partially true. I learned long ago that when I give everything I have, my time, attention, marriage, children, and my work to God, everything goes much better. One of the things I am most proud of in life is that I have surrendered everything I hold dear to Jesus Christ and simply try to follow His lead. I also learned long ago that no one ever wins an award on their own. If I were able to invite all of those who have encouraged, challenged, supported, taught, corrected, or praised me over the last 30 years, including family, friends, and co-workers, they would not fit on this stage. Well, actually this recording studio. I'm a product of dozens and dozens of others, and this award is as much for each of them. When I read the quotes from colleagues and hear the wonderful things those that know me say about me, it is so humbling and encouraging. However, what is not in the bio or the kind words or the positive quotes is that I am proficient at being selfish. I blame my parents because I am an only child. And I could write a book about pride. 
Over the years, God has taught me He does not value those things that seem to just come so naturally to me. He has better things for me, and because of my relationship with His Son, Jesus Christ, I have learned to choose serving others over selfishness and humility over pride most of the time. So thank you, Lord, for leading me. Thank you to all those who have helped make me a better person over the last 30 years. I am extremely thankful to be able to help children learn and grow in Tulare City Schools, and I'm so appreciative of this wonderful award. Congratulations, Mikaela, Stacy, Philip, our finalists and nominees. You have joined a distinguished group of educators that represent the best of Tulare County. Don't forget to share this video and the awards program by visiting our website, tcoe.org slash excellence in education. I would like to thank EECU for their continued partnership. I also want to thank the Application Review Committee for their time spent reviewing the thoughtful nominations. I further want to extend my appreciation to the Tulare County Board of Trustees for their support and to our staff who helped coordinate and produce this program. I want to encourage everyone to visit our Facebook page beginning at 2 o'clock this afternoon when we'll conduct two Facebook Live events presenting the three winners with their bronze statue of graduation day. Until next year, take care and stay healthy.